Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today, 3rd August, Nifty ends this week at 24,700 and Bank Nifty at 51,337. During our midweek market update on Wednesday, I said that 25,030 to 60, the price needs to move above that level for further up move. And uh, see here, as we discussed in the yesterday's video on Wednesday, Nifty needs to close above 25,060 for further up move. The price is trading in that zone. See, uh, I posted this when the price was trading around 25, 26. And I made a slight alteration for this limit. Nifty needs to move above 2590 for the further up move. And this is what the most important thing. Suppose the price not moves above this 25,090 and because it is a combination of things. So not moving above 2590 and closes below 24,950, then this can be still a complex fourth in action. That is expecting the correction to 24,700 because I am saying this 24,700 is due for the past one week because I can see the corrective pattern is not clearly ended. So that's why I'm expecting 24,700 also. As expected, the price reached 24,700 yesterday. And uh, because of this opinion, I received few comments that I can see a triangle pattern or sideways pattern and I see a breakout. Everything is fine. But why you are expecting a, this approach? Why you are expecting a, this decline? Yes, this is the uniqueness of Elliott waves. See, this is not the classical technical analysis and nothing here to memorize here because in technical analysis, you will say head and shoulders, breakout, the target uh, based on that head or shoulder, whatever. But this is not that kind of approach. Say, I can see a, uh, a pause or decline in broader markets. I explained this also in witness day. So while expecting a pause or decline in broader markets and uh, Nifty also I am not satisfied with the end of a correction. So I combined uh, both the things and I gave this option and this is what exactly happened. So Elliott wave is a, not a memorizing thing. This is the approach. This is how the markets will behave. Okay. So this is the one more example of how we identified the this decline. Fine. More than that, I said um, when it was trading around 24,970. See, I expected 24,950. Okay. And closes below 24,950. When it was trading around 24,975, if it is expanded flat, the C wave mostly will be fast. As of now, there is no speed in decline. Let's see. We saw with the levels, the nature is also important. This is how the market works. Either it is a third wave or C wave, it will have a fast nature. As expected, we saw a gap down and fast decline in action. Okay, you need to combine the characters in a theoretical language, wave personality. That's all. So we need to give that wave personality to the price action. And uh, this is the small gap. See, uh, this I shared on Wednesday. We are expecting some pause or decline. Okay, as expected, we saw a decline. Even the price moved below this point. And uh, even mid cap, see, a draw ending pattern. And uh, the levels also marked for reaching exactly the price, reach this place. So this is how we analyzed on Wednesday and uh, we saw a lot of things happened as per our analysis on Friday. Okay, before proceeding to the next week market update, a uh, few have asked for whether uh, uh, Elliott wave can be used in commodities or currencies. I will show a few examples because Elliott wave can work in all charts. See, this is very uh, important example. Please watch it fully. See, this analysis was done on 5th April 2023. Okay, 23. Natural gas, daily chart. And this is the expectation. See, the correction has been not already over. We are expecting a pullback. What are the levels? 1.896, 1.792. So, this is the important level to go up okay and this is not the trend changer everything is predicted on 2023 april itself expecting only a fourth wave and one more low 
even that low 1.430 was analyzed on 5th April itself. Okay. Now I show the chart what has happened. See, the first turning point expected minor 3 to end around 1.896, 1.896, actual low was 1.944. See, this is the expectation when the price coming here. While reaching the target, we can easily identify whether it is getting support or not. Okay. See, as expected, the price got support and started moving higher. Is this an impulse move? Not at all. See the price action. It is not an impulsive wave. Why? Because we expected only a fourth wave bounce. Four. Okay. See the nature. Fourth wave. Then one more drop, one more low. What we expected? 1430. What is the actual low? 1.482. See, this low was identified on 5th April 2023. When the price approaches here, definitely we will slightly alter it. But even though, see the exact level, 1.482, 1.430, and almost 100% move to uh, $3 above. Right? So this is what the analysis we can do with the LA advice. This is the objective of my course. You can identify all the turning points. This turning point, this turning point, and this turning point. And I am showing all this in corrective pattern, not impulse. Impulse waves are easy. I am showing this much precise levels in the corrective patterns itself. Then you can assume how you can identify the impulse wave targets. That is very easy. Okay, this is very, very important example. One year before itself, we identified three turning points. And that too, almost precisely. I just want to share it with you. Even the current decline, I shared one level uh, as a short review uh, for my learner and that exactly happened. Okay, so with the help of the Elliott waves, you can identify the each and every turning points. See this one example, this is on DXY, dollar index. See many are asking for uh, currency charts. So DXY is a currency index, dollar index. In one of my previous video, I think on uh, July, when we talk about the metals, I said mostly the price will take support here. The price may move upside. DXY will inversely related to the metals. So there is a one more low is possible in metals. As I said, we had a one more low in the metals because the price may move upside. And I said the DXY will reject mostly around 104. See? Around 104, it has been rejected and while coming lower, the metals may move upside. That's why you have seen metals are moving upside for the past week. Right? So, even you can precisely analyze in every chart. So, this is an example for currencies. And in my course, I have shown an example where I identified the exact low point of crude oil. See, the analysis and the knowledge is same. Where you are applying is as per your wish. Even it can change as per your shorter term or medium term or positional trading. But the analysis and the working all will be same. So my answers to all your questions is Elliott waves will work in all the charts, commodities or stocks or indices or currencies, even cryptos. The only requirement is we need a price chart and a good volume. The volume is necessary because the wave theory is based on mass psychology. Fine, this is one example for the currencies. And uh, yes, a recent analysis on silver commodity, say when it was trading around $27.828, multiple supports between 26 and 27. Okay. Possibly a pullback can be seen to 29 and based on how it reaches that level, we can expect one more low or not to 27.2. I think, uh, I don't know when I took this screenshot, maybe uh, one or two weeks before, around, around this week. What is the trading method here? Many are asking that 
Eliot paper can be only used for analysis. No, in my course, I said everything step by step approach where you want to take entry, best risk reward entry, what are the levels we need to watch for confirmation, everything. Okay, but simply just imagine, okay, multiple supports. So 26 to 27 dollars and possibly pullback can be seen to 29. So this is the entry level, right? This is the entry, target is 29. You see the chart now. So this is a chart analyzed on, yes, here I saw here 25th of July. Expected support around this zone and uh, target to 29. The price gets support around 27.433. 26 and 27 dollars is the important support. The price exactly got support around 27.433. Okay. And see where it's rejected. 29.351. So this is the entry. This is the target for this pullback. I said possibly a pullback can be sent to 29. See the level. And a decline. Now we need to see how the price is declining, whether it comes to 27.2 or moving higher. That also explain here. You can expect one more low or not. So if you learn the Elliott wave in a proper method, you can analyze all these things because in real life market analysis, the price may change or the nature can be changed. So with all this information, you can get the best trading method based on Elliott waves. So if you wish to analyze the chart precisely and you want to identify all the turning points and uh, you can understand the market in better way, you can learn my course, the most practical way of learning the Elliott waves. All the details in the description. See, uh, you can learn Elliott waves from anyone. I am not asking you to learn from only me. Okay, you can learn from anyone because based on price, uh, everything you can decide. But after learning from others, if you face any difficulty practically while during the real time chart analysis or while during the market hours, remember my course. Okay. This course is designed only for taking trades based on the Elliott wave. And I concentrate both impulse and corrective waves and I give importance more to the corrective waves. If you even see a few examples, all the things are based on corrective waves. So impulsive waves are very easy. Even corrective waves, we identified the exact lows and supports. Even Nifty analysis, Bank Nifty, broader markets. See, indices is little difficult because we need to give importance to other indices. But while understanding all these things, analyzing a uh, stock chart is very, very easy because we don't want to give importance to others. Just seeing the chart, you can analyze. So if you want to learn the Elliott waves in most easy way, practical way, and a proper way, you can register my course. I'm very confident because I know the worth of my course. And uh, more than the course, I'm adding uh, so much value to the learners by adding more charts, more videos. Uh, during this August, I plan to add uh, two to three videos, the most important uh, learnings of Elliott Waves where you don't get anywhere. So the thing is, you can learn from anyone or anywhere. But if you wish to learn from me, all the details in the description, you can check the websites, see the details, session by details are all the details. I've written all the details about the course, session details, everything. So just have a glance and uh, register and the access will be given immediately. Fine. So what is the expectation for next week? This is the update I shared on Friday around 3.15 when the price was uh, 24.718 price near support zone and reached our expected level of 24.700. See, we identified the exact reversal from 25.060 to 24.700. Now, if it goes below today's low, around uh, maybe 24.700, need to check between 24.650 to 24.640. A gap down below this level or crossing this level with speed may invalidate this level. So this is the update I shared on Friday evening. The same thing we are going to approach for the next week. So the immediate support is 24650, 
to 24640. This level should hold for the assumption of fifth way up. I will show the chart. So this level 24650 to 640. This level should hold for the assumption of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One more wave up. Okay. At the same time, please remember and this is the count I am having it as a primary thing for almost uh, uh, many weeks now. I always mark the phi as ended here until I get a clear phi subways. My assumption is fifth as completed here. Okay. Only when I find a phi subways here, I mark it as phi here and three here. Okay. This also explained in the previous. Uh, one or two weeks video. If the fifth wave needs to move higher, please remember the fifth wave needs to move higher, the price should get support around here or the maximum allowed is this top. What is this top? 24,544. Okay. 24,544. So, this is the level should not give up for this assumption. If the price comes below this level, this is not going to be an impulse. Okay. It may be an ending diagonal. We don't know now. But this is not an impulse. My primary assumption is some impulse has been ended here. Whether it is 3, yes, it is possible. And all can be wave 4. And wave 5 may profit. That also possible, but we will discuss level by level. Okay. The first thing we need to see is maybe a gap down and recover. The opening is important for Monday. Maybe a global markets of week, we may expect a gap down, and the gap down should be within this level. Okay. Even check this 61.8. Okay, the 61.8 also coming to the 24,540 levels. So, this 24,540 is important to protect for this minor wave. Maybe after that we may see a pullback or recovery. See, both uh, this wave A or wave 1 high and the 61 point retracement comes to 24,540. This level is important. See, the assumption is if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the price needs to get support around this level, okay, and needs to move higher. For example, suppose if the price moves below, then this can be like this and come lower, okay. This is the approach now. The level why I am saying important is because of these reasons. So, if the price wants to move higher, mostly get support around this zone, expected zone of 24, 640, 650. But we need to see because it may have a gap down on Monday. Even if gap downs, the price may get support between these two ranges, 550 to 650. Okay, we need to see the opening. The price may open between 550 or 650, that gap zone, and it may recover. If it uh, does like that, there is a chance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But suppose the price moves below this range, okay, then the higher possibility is one lower high to the gap filling, okay, and this is very much possible. These are the assumptions now. I hope you understand. And this is only for the next week. I don't want to discuss on longer term, but still, see, this is my assumption now. If the price gets support here around 24,000, even this also possible. And after that, also, one more high is pending. We need to see there are chances, but we focus on uh, each and every wave. So, this is the approach for next week. I hope you understand the levels you want to watch for next couple of days. Anyway, we will discuss on Wednesday also. 
So based on this approach, Bank Nifty, see the price still moving sideways and uh, already we expected this support point, okay. So the price may get support around this zone and may move higher. We need to see the opening again, maybe equal low or the support between these two levels. What is this level? 50,900 to 850. Most probably, uh, even though the price declines, this level should get support. Okay, below this level, obviously, we are in complex pattern that may be confirmed. Okay, so below this C point, this can be confirmed it as complex. Already, we are expecting a complex. But for that, I expect some more uh, up move and come lower. We need to uh, think all the levels. But uh, for the next two to three days, uh, we need to see the price action here, maybe a, a support around this point and a pullback. But a gap down or fast nature below these two lines, 5900 to 5850 may take the price to this low and crossing below this low may confirm it as a complex. So these are assumptions in Bank Nifty. Yes, the support point already marked. It may get support uh, between this 5100 to 5900. Okay. The support we can expect is 5100 to 5900 or 5850. So after that, we may say a, a pullback and we can track this trend line. Then we may decide. So this is the approach on Bank Nifty. See, in broader markets also, see, I can see a, a big ending pattern. See, that is why I'm assuming it is an end of an impulse, that I always have an option. So, it can be A, B and C. Okay, this is the approach I'm already having from almost one or two weeks now. Uh, still, I not changed the view. That's my primary view. Based on Nifty, the price may, can even come lower to this point broader markets okay this is a mid cap 150 same approach one two three four the price is fourth it needs to get support around this point and move higher okay but while seeing this price action i'm not convinced that this is an end of a corrective pattern maybe this is the first leg of the corrective pattern okay there may be a gap down or uh, some low point here for example Okay, we can have this point 21,330. Okay, so 61.8%. So, wait, I remove all this point. Okay, so if it is wave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, please remember the rules. The fourth wave cannot trade in the wave 1 high, right? That is why I am saying this is the reason. But if the price comes uh, to this level, this cannot be the impulse. So, to avoid that corrective pattern, the mid cap 150 can take support at 21,330 around and may give a pullback. But by seeing this correction, I am not convinced that the correction has been over here. It may be A, B, C, right? Or A, B and C. Even uh, this point, we need to see how it is approaching. So, this is the uh, level I am seeing for broader markets. See, even if I look for weekly, see, in weekly, the, the chart is bullish only. The third wave can uh, reach around 22,800. Now we are in 21,700. So, even though the pullback comes, my assumption is the price still may go higher to 22,800 initially. Okay. This is the weekly approach. And this is the weekly chart for mid cap 150 and small cap. Yes, as expected, the price dropped, but even below the gap point. And uh, is this a wave one? Or is this point is wave one? For safer side, I mark it as this point as wave one. Okay, this point level should not be touched by the small cap 100, which is around uh, 18450. Okay, again, now uh, this is not the completion of wave, a corrective wave. So, A, B, C or A, B and C. So, we need to watch the pullback. 
same uh, assumption on small cap also the ending pattern comes here see a bigger ending pattern always results in a big correction that's why i am saying there is a possibility of impulse are completed here but anyway we'll check how the price declines here so it can be a b and c also okay so we will approach step by step in hourly chart we may expect a, a pull back and one more low is highly possible in broader markets because this can be only a single leg see both uh, broader markets seem to have a only one leg of correction so one more low is highly possible after a pullback remember after a pullback without pullback it comes to one more low that is not the end of correction in my opinion okay so after a pullback we may have a one more leg of correction in broader markets also an important support also marked here below this this also not an impulsive wave okay so this is the update on markets for the coming week in a summary the price needs to get support around 24650 or the worst case between 24650 to 24550 and need to move higher okay but if the price once comes below 24540 then this cannot be the impulse and the pull back if comes after that it may not move above one more high it may stop at the gap point here or here okay after that we may see a one more leg down the important level is 24540 i hope you like this analysis so this is the 100% practical way of analyzing the elliott waves see i not use any indicators but in my course i teach about the rsi intermarket divergence everything but i mainly use the waves all other indicators are supportive to the waves my primary analysis is waves and fib numbers that's why i'm calling it as purest form of elliott wave trading because i'm not using any other indicators only with the waves we are going to analyze even this week also you witnessed the potential of elliott waves multiple times i showed the exact reversals and i keep on uh, sharing the targets for both impulse and corrective patterns please remember i'm showing multiple times in corrective patterns because corrective patterns are little a uh, time taking effort okay we need to put some effort for analyzing the corrective patterns but with the effort that is possible because you can see a uh, lot of times i am showing that example even this week also you have witnessed one live example everyone are bullish uh, about 25000 even i have bullish view but for that i have some certain levels that's the difference even i am seeing some comments that you also Uh, sharing some options because i'm not only giving a direction if i give only direction is very easy i can post the video like uh, the price may go down get support here that's all but i'm saying each and every uh, level for each and every view please understand that you cannot have a single view in market to sustain in the market you should have a flexibility please understand the stock market itself the game of probability and the game of regret we cannot satisfy in all trades okay we need to satisfy ourselves that's all i am very confident in my course and uh, for the price you are paying you will receive much more value the course itself much value but i am sharing lot of charts more videos to the your learning experience so thank you if you want to register my course all the details in the description if you like my analysis if you like my videos and if you like my approach to the markets through elite waves kindly subscribe the channel and share it with your fellow traders friends and whoever interested in the elite waves global markets are weak let's see how our market opens on monday and uh, we need to see the first hour whether it is recovering or sustaining below also we have important levels to watch and more importantly the things we discussed in this video are not at all any recommendations all these are efforts for making you to understand the potential of elliott waves and how we need to approach the stock market with the help of elliott waves so use it only for the 
learning purpose. So thank you. Trade safe. Happy weekend. Take care.